Hello everyone, Anita here and this is day 16 of the 30 day sketchbook challenge. I'm trying to keep count, but I'm losing it slowly. Even drawing it every day, I, I keep losing count. I'm just hoping and soon it's gonna be done. No offense guys, I love doing it, but it's kind of taking a lot of time, like literally tons of time. Um, so I'm trying to step it down a notch and try to paint these under an hour. That's my goal for the rest of this challenge. Just make really cute pictures. They don't have to be extremely detailed, but they have to be under the one hour. Now this one is a little bit of a, hmm, an auto portray, I suppose. I'm basically drawing kind of myself, but not myself. I don't know uh, how to say it. <laughs> Um, the very reason I started drawing in the first place uh, all those years ago is because I was really into drawing clothes. And most of the time I drew my own characters in fancy clothes. Um, sometimes I drew myself in the clothes that I really, really wanted to have or clothes that I would love to wear but I didn't have the courage to. Um, I was dressing myself in like uh, gothic lolita clothes, um, in fancy 50s dresses and like medieval dresses. <laughs> of course, I won't go outside like that, but you know, I could be all that on paper. And so in this case, um, I often check um, <laughs> Pinterest, sorry, what? <laughs> I often check um, Pinterest and I don't really remember where, but I saw this girl and she was really, really pretty and she had this amazing skirt with this amazing shirt and I fell absolutely in love with this and it just, it stuck in my in my head, the image, especially the dress, uh, I mean the skirt. And it was a watermelon skirt. <laughs> Seriously, I if I ever have time, I'm so going to make this. It shouldn't be that hard. Um, I'm just, I, I want to have it. It's <laughs> um, I won't have many opportunities to wear this kind of dress, so I'm, kind of thinking that perhaps next year there will be a wedding in the family and maybe I can wear it there, you know, <laughs> perfect opportunity. And so I figured, you know, I would make some kind of like, I would just draw myself in a dress like that. It's a skirt, Anita. In a skirt like that. And um, to top it, I had just a very simple striped um, sweater, kind of a blouse. Uh, with my favorite decolletage or what what you call it <laughs> and it's also the on the picture in on Pinterest I remember the girl had a pit like a striped a shirt so I really love that um, and yeah that that's basically what I'm drawing and I'm, I base the whole picture on the fact I really wanted to draw uh, that skirt and today I actually went to uh, the art store <laughs> I haven't been in an art store for quite a while and I got a, I got new paper, of course, that was the reason why I wanted to go, because I had some problems with the sheet, my last sheet of the previous stock. And uh, I also got a few pens, um, just to try it out, uh, a few different brush pens, I got a pit pen, I got a um, Kuretake Koi pen, like it's a watercolor pen, it's already, I can tell you, it's not, it doesn't work for me, but also a few different pens, like fine liners, colored ones, because what I do recently, if you haven't noticed, uh, if you don't watch my watercolor videos, then I'm going to tell you, um, I've started to use colored um, lines instead of black ones like I've used in the past. So my line art is now colored and I do it after I paint um, the watercolor part. And so I do it now with watercolor and that's perfectly fine, but uh, to make things easier for myself, faster, I would like to have some pens, doesn't have, doesn't have to be a whole rainbow of colors, but just some pens that would help me uh, achieve the look. And so that's why I'm kind of testing the pens and I've used a few of them also on this uh, picture. As you can see, I was really trying to get the hair. Uh, this is actually a haircut I have at the moment. I have like this weird three chopped layers. I call it a triple bulb. <laughs> 
because I have a very short layer and then I have another layer a little bit lower and they, they there's no transition transition between them. They literally look like I have three chopped off layers and I absolutely love that. Um, so, and I'm, I'm planning to get also um, those pink strips in my hair because I really love them and I think they're a little bit more less maintenance than having ombre pink hair, which I had before and it did not work for me because um, too high maintenance. Nobody has time for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, and um, so that's why I had problems with that shape. It's such a weird shape. Um, besides, just so that you know, I don't look anything like this, literally nothing like this. And so uh, the, the picture seemed a little bit plain um, and I had this paintbrush in the background. I thought, you know what, perhaps she would be, she was drawing, you know, or I was drawing who <laughs> she was, let's call it her. She was drawing something or painting something in the background. I immediately thought, you know, why not just continue that watermelon thing? And I, I've done some watermelon slices. Um, the color combination of that pink, uh, which is a Copic color, um, it's an R32 and it's literally called peach, even though it doesn't look like peach. Well, actually, maybe the Japanese peach. That 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 makes sense. <laughs> it is a, copics are Japanese, so makes sense. And then I've used the Molotov pen, uh, which is an acrylic pen and it's just a springy gray. I don't even remember how it's called. I don't even have it here <laughs> laying around. Um, and I really like that combination, so I wanted to use more of it. That's why I'm I'm just adding them one at a time, kind of. I've decided that I at first I wanted to have them only at the top, but then I've decided okay, I'm gonna do them at the bottom as well. And it look at it, it's such a simple idea, but I had so much fun drawing it. It doesn't have to be extremely elaborate for me to have like the effect that I want. I just have to think a little bit through what I want to draw to begin with. And I think that looking through Pinterest um, and, you know, getting the inspiration is a really good, like, I don't, I don't know how to make that sentence. It's like a very good starting point to making any kind of pictures like that. Because uh, if I was, I don't sketch normally, like I've said, so it's really hard for me to get idea every single day. Because when I think, I think always from a like a finished big picture perspective. And I can't create a big picture like I would create even once a week. I have a problem. Every day is absolutely impossible. So I have to keep simplifying those ideas. Just keep making like less, less shapes, less patterns, less shading. Look at it, there's absolutely no shading in this picture. And it's it's fine. And I love it. So yeah, that's a big deal for me. That's a um, challenge for the next uh, 14 days that are left. Simple picture on um, pictures under one hour because otherwise I am going to kill myself, literally. <laughs> I need to sleep. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like this picture. I kind of like that girl's face. It doesn't look anything like me, but I love her. She's really cute. And I had a lot of fun painting her, so I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Um, I feel like watermelon now, I just can't help it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!